Okay, so in this video, I want to go back and talk about those locks that I found on that door that the manager first enters the kosher kitchen in. But you cannot see the door because it's off, slightly off the camera when we look at the surveillance. So we can't see it in the surveillance, but we can see it in the images that they provided us through the evidence. And you can see, like I said, those locks on the door. Now, what I thought was interesting was I was observing the freezer lock, well, the, the uh, clasp that opens the door. And if you look at it closely, and I'm, I'll zoom in and make it closer for you to see, you can see there is a hole in that clasp that opens the door. Now, as that is opened, as the police officer opens it, you can see another hole on the lever that he pulls. So it, a lock would go through the top, through the lever, and down and, and lock underneath. One of those padlocks could do it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> we do not, we can't see if anybody ever walks in that door, puts them up there, locks them up there and walks out, or does anything around that door. Like I said, it's off surveillance. We don't know. There could be people talking in that corner. We wouldn't have a clue. Okay, so when locks have got a purpose, those freezers are able to be locked with a pad lock or some type of lock that can go through and lock it through those holes that I showed you. The lock will go through the top, through the lever, and then un down underneath. So if it goes through the top metal piece, then through the lever, once it goes through that lever, you're no longer able to pull that lever. Okay, so when also when we look back at that time where he walked in and apparently first found the body we all thought that it was a little bit quick I think he knew that body was in there and I do think in my opinion that he was just untaking the lock off so he didn't look suspicious why would if someone like I said before it's those little things if someone had put her in there and locked it like that that makes it more suspicious maybe a murder all you have to do is take that lock off and it looks like she's walked in and died. We already know that the autopsy proves that she didn't die from hypothermia because she has swelling of the brain and pink lips, which, like I said, goes along the lines of uh, um, something else. I said, in my opinion, it's possible there could be some type of carbon monoxide poisoning, which would answer swelling of the brain and pink lips. I'm not saying that's what it is, but I'm saying your lips can be pink when you die, depending on how you die, okay? That's why we have, there are things that the, the uh, a medical examiner will look at to, do, to determine the cause of death. So the cause, uh, the, 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 the cause of death, there could have been something that happened within her body, some toxins, like I said, carbon monoxide, possibly, I'm not saying that's what it was, which caused her to die. Remember that fire extinguisher produces carbon monoxide, okay? I don't know if that's what it was. There obviously is some type of foul play involved, but always do your research and think for yourself.